Right, I'm going to try and show you a short video of what I take when I go out in the hills in the backpack and all that. So I'll start off with the brew pot. In the brew pot I always carry my gas. Keep it that way up because if you put it that way down, you just, I'm not, I'm paranoid about the, that up there, letting gas out, I don't know, maybe I'm just daft. But I always put it in that way anyway. And that sits in my backpack in the bottom. And then I have the, the, the pots, the alley pots, which everybody's familiar with if you've seen the video. This is like 20, 20 quid for these pots. Brilliant. So I've used these loads of times and they're still as clean as they were when I got them. Clean up nice, you know. Inside. So I keep my stove in there, my Van Gogh stove with the braided thing and the cans on the gas. Except, except that's all packs away anyway. All goes into the bottom of the backpack. Maybe a bit noisy there. <laughs> try and keep the noise down. Right, so that there goes in the backpack. All neat and tidy. And what I also take is this little pouch of bits and bobs. I'll go through what's in here. Basically, this all as well, this goes in the backpack as well. Oh, there's just some bits left over from this thing. But you've got space in the front there. So I've got some bovril cubes. Because I tell you, when you're cold and you're up in the hills, you kind of beat bovril like in a cup. Hot water, a bit of bovril, nice. Let's put that in there. Some cup of porridge. I've got these cheap in a. I think it was in um, Bean End or something like that. Just pour it in, pour your hot water on, nice cup of porridge, give it a stir. You can use two if you want a bit more, but one's enough just in the morning just to get you down, you know. And then I've got these Nescafe 3 in ones I think they're quite popular. I use two of them because I like my, my strong coffee. Um, put them in, just top it up with water to your taste, however your taste is. Easy enough. And then I've got these soups. And I've got there's minestrone, which is lovely. They've got it's got like bits in them. You know, vegetable soup, Mediterranean veg, chicken and veg, a couple of them chicken and veg, another minestrone. Sure, I had some more. No, that must be it. I, I think I used a couple the other day on a little bottle, but they're nice, you know, you just you just tear it off there, squeeze it in the cup, top it up with hot water, you did with a stir, you know. I, would, I wouldn't put too much water in to start with so you can get the taste and then you just add water if it's too strong. And I always carry a couple of them. And they go in there as well. I'll keep them ones here. Um, and then the bovril cube. They're the double strength bovril cube, so you only need one. A couple of spokes. And that all goes in there, nice and neat. I'll put some more coffees in there for the weekend. But that's a handy little pack. And it just goes in my bag as well with it, you know. The other thing I've got is. Um, Morrison's Instant Mash. If you've seen the videos, you might have seen us making one of these. But this is like, I think it's about 50 odd pence. Cheese and onion mash, potato and onion. People are thinking, you're joking, mashed potato, instant mash. Yeah, it's horrible. But I tell you what, it's not, it's nice. That is, that is the tastiest one I've come across. So I, I use that a bit you know and with the meatballs that I'm going to show you that's lovely on a, a cold night when you're hungry right, 
the other thing I've got is, I've been to Sainsbury's today and I got these, look what we found meals. They were £1.80 in Sainsbury's today these. So there's chicken korma. There's uh, the, the beef meatballs, which are really nice. Tasty them. I've got, um, I've got two of the meatballs. And they go lovely with that mashed potato. I've got um, Staffordshire Chicken Thai Red Curry. I've never had that one, so I may try that on Saturday when I'm out. There's chicken tikka and the chili con carne. Change the packaging. It says 250 grams. It feels a lot lighter. It doesn't seem as much in there. Anyway, chili con carne, that's nice as well. And what I have that with, if I have the the curry or the chili, the chili I take some of this. It's microwave rice, you put it in the microwave, but it's already cooked and it's seasoned. So basically, I chuck the, chuck the curry in the pot, the big pot, warm that through, pour the rice in, and then just heat it up, and it's lovely. It's filling you, it fills you up, and it's really tasty. I'm quite I'm amazed at these these dishes like because you think they're gonna be bloody awful processed rubbish but no they're not and like got the odd mug shot there you can have them as well you can either boil your water on your stove or you can just fill just pour boiling water on it you know again stir it up to your own taste I don't take all of this by the way just like one of, one of them one of them one of them depends on what I'm going for and the other thing I'll take is sometimes there's a nice bit of beef rump. And I just get off uh, pretty annoying labels. I'll take a nice bit of rump steak. Look at that. But the thing is with that, I'm gonna have that from my tea tonight, but I have taken them up in the hills and cut them before. Basically, that's about it. That's what that's the usual diet I've got. Um, if anybody takes inspiration from that, then fair enough. But if you, you know, put on your comments about what you've got, what you like to take, um, I take, <laughs> I'll take that as they did in plastic bottles. But that's the that's basically what I take up in the hills just to give you some idea and it's tasty, you know. It's, you're cold, you're miserable sometimes, you get a bit fed up. But if you cook this meal then it takes five minutes to cook them. Really nice. So, that's about it. Hope you enjoy.